Hello everyone, today I am going to cover a topic which is related to ARM binary emulation. Now these emulation techniques you can apply on any other binary which is built for any other platform such as Intel x86 or x86-64. Um, the framework which we are going to use today is called Unicorn Emulation Framework which is an open source framework and it supports multiple platforms such as ARM, ARM64, MIPS, RISC, PowerPC and of course Intel x86 and x86-64 and so basically it covers most of the famous platforms so you can use this same framework for all type of emulation right now before we get into the ARM emulation part I would like you to go through my previous video which is on ARM64 architecture where I have tried to explain the basics of ARM and some of its instruction set. Uh, I will leave a link to my previous video in the description as well as you can see it on top right corner of your screen. So go ahead and check it out. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel as uh, I will be posting such videos regularly. And for those who are already familiar with ARM64 architecture and its instruction set, let's just continue with the topic. Here I am using a Kali Linux inside a virtual machine uh, which is running on Intel architecture. So in order to show you the demo, we first gonna need to use some tools which will help us in cross compiling the source code into ARM64 specific binary. Now I am going to list down all the tools and the commands which we are going to use today in the description so that you can directly copy paste uh, it from there. So I will quickly fire up my terminal. Okay, so the first command or the first tool which we will need is the GCC compiler. So in order to install it simply use apt-get install package so here sudo apt-get install gcc and it will install the uh, gcc compiler for us here i have already installed it that's why it's not doing anything um, but once it's installed you should be good to go once we got the gcc compiler uh, we need to install the cross compiler for arm64 uh, in order to do that uh, we will install another package using sudo apt-get install and then we need our ARM64 specific compiler right so uh, we will simply mention gcc hyphen arc 64 Linux GNU and do, 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 done. So again here um, uh, it's already installed on my machine uh, but you can install it using this command. Now we have our cross compiler in place and we can compile any code for ARM64 binary. Similarly if you want to cross compile the code for any other platform uh, you can simply do that. Uh, by installing the specific cross compiler so here we have installed for ARM that's why we mentioned ARC64 if you want to use some other platform simply try GCC hyphen press tab and you will see all the possible commands or the compilers available inside GCC so here it shows you for different uh, machine architectures based on your need you can install it right okay now before moving forward I will show you our sample code which we are going to use today for our demo purpose and later on we will use this same code uh, for the emulation right uh, so uh, we have this sample code written in C language and I have tried to keep it simple and easy for understanding purpose so 
like any other usual C program at the beginning we have some standard inputs such as std io std lib and string uh, i will quickly explain what all these includes are so the first one is std io dot h so it's a header file which contains information about the input output related functions in the program right then we have std lib dot h uh, this header file is a general purpose standard library you can say which includes function involving uh, memory allocation conversions etc then we have string dot h which contains definition for functions and types used for string handling and also for various memory handling functions so here i will try to give you a brief overview of what this program does uh, and it will um, ask for the input as a parameter from the user at runtime and then checks if the user entered password is correct or not let's quickly go through the code once so that you can better understand its functionality first of all we have a hard-coded uh, encrypted password in a character byte array right so you can say this is the buffer where our encrypted uh, password is present uh, so for uh, make it difficult to extract during the static analysis I have encrypted this password uh, so even if during the static analysis you found these bytes it will not make any sense because these are encrypted and not the plain password next we have this decrypt password function this function is responsible for decrypting this hard-coded password during the time of comparison so in order to compare the user entered password and our encrypted hard coded password uh, it is uh, required to be decrypted first right before the comparison uh, being made so here the logic is simple i have only performed the xor encryption uh, as you can see over here where uh, this 0xff is the key for the encryption uh, so all these bytes will be XORed with 0xff and finally we will get the password in plain text in the good password buffer right then uh, we come to the final piece of the code which is our main block from where all of this execution will begin here first of all I am checking for the parameters as a standard of C programming language uh, we must know that by default the first parameter is the program name itself so it doesn't matter whether you pass any parameter during runtime or not the first parameter is always the program name so the ARGC variable here it will always contain one then we have ARGV which will contain the actual parameter value inside the care array so here the program is expecting uh, from the user to enter the password as I already explained the first parameter is always the program name then the second parameter would be the user entered password so that's why I am checking uh, here the count of parameters and if it is not equal to 2 it will simply return this error message then next I am comparing the value of user entered password with not the value the length of the user entered password with 6 if it is not equal to 6 then I am returning this error message then finally the actual uh, password comparison is being made where uh, through this string compare function I am comparing the user entered password and then the hard-coded password so first of all I need to decrypt the password that's why here I have called decrypt password function it will return as the password in plain text then it will make the comparison using string compare method and if it's correct then it will return correct password otherwise it will return incorrect password so that's it about the program now we will try to compile this C code for the ARM64 specific platform now uh, we have already installed our ARM64 GCC cross compiler if you remember and we are going to use it now uh, so firstly I will quickly move to my 
working directory which is under document unicorn emulation and here I am having my sample code right okay now in order to compile this code we will simply use ar64 uh, linux gnu gcc compiler then we will mention the uh, output file name in this case i am using crack password and then we will provide the input file which is our crack password dot c and if i hit enter it should be able to compile it and i can't see any error so that should be done and now you can see we have this crack password binary here and uh, now if we try to look into the type of this file through file command we should be able to see that it is a elf 64 bit binary for arm ar64 but we still cannot run it even if we try to run it it will throw some error let's try that as you can see it says could not open ld linux ar64.so so what basically this ld linux ar64.so is it is the loader file for the arm64 architecture and without the loader it is not able to run the program so how to fix this issue as you might have already guessed our program is now for arm64 bit platform and uh, the machine which we are using is running on intel platform so these are not compatible directly so in order to fix this issue we will be using a emulator called QEMU Camo. it is also a very famous open source emulator and a virtualizer for our purpose we are going to use the static version of QEMU ARM64 architecture this will allow us to directly run the ARM64 binary without even running the whole virtualized operating system for ARM so we don't need to uh, set up the whole virtual machine for ARM uh, using this static uh, variant of QEMU it will directly allow us to run this binary through command line so first of all we will be installing the package for QEMU and as you already know again we are going to use sudo apt-get install and the command or the package name is QEMU user static now again this package is already installed and if you run it first time then it will try to download all the dependencies which is required for this package and once the installation is done you should be able to run this 64 bit uh, ARM binary uh, through our Intel machine so for that we are going to use this command which is ARC64 uh, sorry which is QEMU ARC64 static and then we need to pass the loader file uh, which is ARC64 Linux GNU and this is automatically installed as the part of installing the GCC cross compiler uh, which we have installed initially so the default directory where this file is present is usr arc64 linux gnu and then we will simply provide the binary which we need to run and if we hit enter we are able to see that okay uh, it is running and now it is giving us this error message give only one string parameter so as we have already seen through the code that this binary expect one argument so we will try to give it argument and now the message is changed uh, now it says password must be only six digit alphanumeric character all right let's try to give it six digits uh, now we can see it's saying incorrect password right so our binary is now working and we are able to execute this binary on our intel machine uh, using this qmu 
a arc 64 static uh, command now in the second part we are going to cover the unicorn emulation and try to emulate our compiled arm64 binary so stay tuned for that 